the great and mighty God, the great I am, the great and morning star. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the presence of all things. Everything that was made was made by him and for him, and there was nothing that was made were made without him. He is the victor and the power and the authority. He is the joy of your strength and the strength of your joy. He is the grace and the morning star. He is the peace of God. He is the everlasting Father. He is the King of Kings. So, knowing this about who he is, don't be mediocre about coming to his throne. Because there's a certain way that you must approach the throne of God in order to get a word from God. Amen. 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 I'm moved by the spirit of God, so I have to have the right atmosphere. If you shut down on me, God will shut down on you. He said, if you grow closer to me, I'll grow closer to you. Amen. What we're doing is leaving this planet and going into the atmosphere of glory. Because believe it or not, the kingdom of God is not here. The kingdom of God is here. The Bible says that greater is he that's in who? Than he that's in the So that means you have authority over the devil. He's under your feet. Huh? All right. Praise God. Let's go over here to Revelation chapter uh, 4, verse 8. I want this side of the room to say, holy, holy, holy. Look at the verse. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Amen? Amen. This side of the room, in the same chapter, verse 11, I want you to say, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Amen? Amen. Now we set the precedent because this is going to be a supernatural, miracle working power, but we have to get into the realm of the spirit. Sure. We got to break through this planet and get into heaven. So if they're worshiping God like that in heaven, we going to worship him on the earth. He said that it'll be like heaven on the earth. Go. Glory, glory, glory. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Thou Amen, 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 amen. 
I'm here today thanking the man of God for having me to come out to minister to you all today. I see a lot of heavy faces and a lot of heavy hearts. But I want to tell you something about a saint. I want to make this a precedent to you. Believers don't die. Amen. They just translate. Amen. The reason I said for us to do this is to realize that something is going on in heaven right now. Amen. Right now, something is going on in heaven. Amen. And if Jesus is tarry, that's where I want to be. If Jesus should carry, one day I have to go there. Yes, we come here to graduate from here to go there. Yes, and the only way you can go is either in the rapture or either depart. Now, let me say something about God. God ain't trying to get no flower to come early. You have to realize that you have an arch enemy, and his name is the devil. They call him Lucifer, Slewfoot, uh, Beelzebub. It's real. So, as a people of God... We can't be lazy and sit back and let the enemy come in and do whatever he wants to do. And I say to you, if you're involved in anything that is not clean before God, this is not the place for you to be today. I don't care how much you smile, jump, and shout. I'm a spiritual engineer, and baby, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for a lot of years. When I call you to come up, don't be looking around for anybody. I'm giving you instructions because you're going to meet the glory of God. Jesus appeared to me over 24 years ago, and when you come before Jesus, ain't no standing up talking to him. I was in my room back in Detroit. I, I wasn't married yet. I was studying either Leviticus or uh, Lamentations. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting in my chair with my little lamp, studying the Word of God. So all of a sudden, I felt a heavy weight come on me. And I'm saying, what is this? And so I had my little lamp, and I had my Bible, and I was looking. And I was on my way to ministry school. I wasn't even married to my wife yet. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I was sitting in my chair, and I was looking at my Bible, and then all of a sudden, about far from here to that camera, I seen a white robe. And the white robe's light was fluorescent, like these lights here, and it was pleats. And it was kind of bluish, and it was kind of waving, and it was standing there, and I was reading the Word. So as I tried to look up, it got heavier and heavier, and heavier, till I could not look up to see my Savior because of the glory of God that was on him. Yes. I could see his hands and the light coming through his hands because the Bible said he still bears the stars. He's marred for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yes. So I'm looking and trying to get close to him or trying to look at him like everybody else said they could see him face to face, even with God. But I'm telling you, the power of God and the authority that he walks in his presence, he don't have to tell you to bow. You will bow. Woo! Amen. The Bible says that every knee shall bow in heaven and in earth and under the earth. He takes authority by his grace. Yes. He paid the cost to be the boss. Oh, you understand that? Yeah. And so knowing this, God has a precedent for us, and I have a word from God. And I wrote it down. It says God is faithful to his word every day. God is faithful to his will, his word, and his way. Trust in him and obey. And see his words come true today. Obeying him is the only way to your victory. To wash all your fears and cares away, say, God is here, he's my helper today. He is here, only he is my only way to life. Your words that you speak unto me, O oh God, they are words that are spirit and they are life, because you are the Lord God Almighty. Amen. That came scripted out of the anointing of God. He's faithful to his word, his will, and his way every day. One thing you can be sure of and that you can count on is his word, his will, 
and his way. See, the problem is uh, we don't understand who we are and we don't understand that this is a, a military sense. We are an army of the Lord. Amen. And an army has to be on his watch. You should carry a spiritual uniform that when you show up, it should be a presence about you that's not of the world. They should recognize what army you're in. They said, he is not with us, he is with somebody else. He is not with the Air Force, he's with the Marines. He is not with the Navy, he is with the Army. When we as the people of God show up, there should be a spiritual uniform that we wear that when we show up, people know that we are the people of God. See, the problem with the church is, is that we become complacent and let things happen. Oh, whatever will be, well, whatever will be, God's will. But God is trying to establish His will in the earth. And the only way He can establish it is through you. Amen. And if you won't do it, who will? Will a dog bark the will of God? Huh? Will a giraffe bark the will of God? Will, will a bird sing the will of God? Even though they give Him praise and worship, you are the only being on the planet that can open His mouth and say anything. Amen. 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 Now, faith has a voice, and the voice of faith is the Word of God. Woo! Coming out of the believer is just like God speaking in Himself. Because I'm made in the image and the likeness of God. And because I'm God's child, that means I have the same authority as my father does. If you're a Rockefeller, you got the same thing that the Rockefellers get. It does not change because Jesus engrafted us in. By his blood, he was shed on Calvary. He dripped his blood on Calvary that you can stand in his authority. He said, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. I give it to you. You go. So what are you waiting on the Lord for? What are you waiting on God for? God is waiting on you for his will to be established in the planet. I'm an ambassador of God. And wherever I go, I have the declaration of independence in my spirit, which is the word of God. So wherever I take place, that rule of that kingdom takes place in that area. When the United States goes over to Africa, they set up a commune, and that rule is the United States of America. Even though we're in another country, the same thing goes with the kingdom of God. Even though I'm here on the earth, the kingdom of God is established through me. It's established through you. You're an ambassador of the king of all kings. Who do you think he's talking about? When he said king of all kings. We just read it in Revelation. He said the king and priest. But if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what a thing is, it is supposed to be, you misuse it. If you don't know what a thing is worth, what it means to have something in your hand that's valuable. If you don't know what it means, you'll misuse it. Oh, God, help me to preach this word. You'll misuse the Father. You'll misuse the Son. You'll misuse the Holy Ghost. And they're standing there waiting on you to come on into the kingdom of God. 